Kuring <laughs> Satations, my name is Draft Pet. Welcome back to another Draft Chat video on my channel. I'm using my more advanced quality camera. I'm trying to get used to using it, okay? So today I'm drinking Red's Wicked Apple. I haven't, I've never tried this. Why was I so scared to open that? I would have so hesitant to like pop it. I'll be doing enough of these to where I feel comfortable popping these more. Why do I keep saying popping? Oh, that's super good. Oh, that's super good. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? If I had to rate this, I would rate it 10 out of 10. This is the best beer so far. I mean, it, you could sort of taste like the beer flavor to it, like the alcohol. But it, there's, there's such an overwhelming flavor of apple on top of that. Oh yeah, I could totally see myself drinking this all the time. And that's how alcoholics are made. So today, I'm going to be reviewing a few posts from Craigslist. These aren't just random posts on Craigslist. No, no, no. This is what Craigslist has determined as their best posts. Let, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Jet-powered Volkswagen Beetle. Yes, this is a real ad. And yes, I used the photos everyone has seen from my website and shared. The last photo on this ad hasn't been posted anywhere and shows the lift I store it on. I take it down once in a while and run it. Again, this is a real ad for the world famous jet powered beetle. Street legal jet powered Volkswagen beetle. 550,000! 550,000! Who do you think is going on Craigslist? Why would you think anyone going on Craigslist has that kind of money? I think it may be time to let go of my flame throwing, running, and driving jet car. Registration up to date because clearly what we were worried about was the registration and not coming up with $550,000. The car has two engines. Of course it does. Of course it does. The production gasoline engine in the front driving the front wheels and the jet engine in the back. The idea is that you drive around legally on the gasoline engine. Then, when you want to have some fun, spin up the jet and get on the burner. You can start the jet while driving along on the gasoline engine. Okay, I have problems. I have problems with this. Do you really think anyone who's going to own this is going to be driving responsibly? Okay, $550,000, that's a bit high. But this is just regular people we're talking about, and regular people sometimes do reckless things, such as showing off. No one, no one in their right mind would be able to estimate how much distance they would need to power on that jet. They, they would just, they would look at any straight road and just go, yeah, that seems like a good amount of distance. I built the car because I wanted the wildest street legal ride possible. No cop in their right mind is going to look at your car and go, yeah, that's street legal. I was able to use some stuff I learned while getting my fancy engineering degree with this project. I have a PhD in mechanical engineering from Stanford University. It was great to design the street legal jet car without distractions from other people's projects solely because no one has done it before. I have no idea how fast the car will go, and probably never will. I built a car in order to thrill me, not kill me. That said, I do enjoy the occasional blast down the highway. You see, you see, it's this, it's this, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Blast down the highway? What, what kind of, what, what kind of car wreck would that turn out to be? You just minding your own business driving and you just be like, what's that, a fucking rocket? Look, all right, this person has written out a very long thesis. Um, bottom line, 
is don't add engine jets to your cars. This isn't twisted metal. Stop it. Stop it. This one is called Ikea lamp. It's legit just an Ikea lamp. Let's be real. It's a dark time right now. You may find yourself wondering whether there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but I have great news for you. There is. This lamp is tall enough that you can position it at or near the end of any tunnels you may find. What? But not so tall that it can get stuck inside the tunnel. We also have some mining lamps for sale. Mining lamps. Not even making that up. If that's more your style, but they look oddly like this one with the base taken off and taped to a helmet. So it's, it's just more Ikea lamps, but taped to a helmet. This lamp is gray, but produces light that contains almost all, if not all, the colors of the rainbow. <sighs> no, it doesn't. We'll include additional colors on other spectrums of light upon buyer's request. No, it doesn't. It's just different colored light bulbs. This one's called toilet paper seed. Here you can see here you can see two toilet paper seeds in their natural habitat. These are the best quality and are guaranteed to produce three ply paper for years to come if cultivated properly. Craigslist. You should start doing IQ tests before they can start selling things on your website. It's just an idea. This game is literally just called Crapshoot. <sighs> hey there, me and a couple friends have developed a fun all weather, day and night addictive game called Crapshoot. I highly doubt it. Guys and girls, young and ancient. Ancient, like how ancient we talking? Like, pharaohs? Cormagnum? Are all encouraged to check out what you need to set up your own backyard game of luck and skill. We're not selling you anything. We're just telling you about it so you can start having fun and possibly starting a league. A league? <laughs> of some sort, but that's down the road a little. Its basics are really quite simple. Not too expensive. The object of the game is trying to throw 30 flying discs 25 feet into a standard sized toilet oval. The one who gets the most discs in the toilet wins can be played by as many players as you want. It's great with an occasional little wager, perhaps, just to make it even a little more fun and interesting. Goes great with backyard BBQs and parties. Cornhole doesn't even come close to this at all. But it is cornhole. You just made the hole bigger. But it is cornhole. I'm, I'm sorry that you had to hear it from me. But your redneck invention is just not good. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me do more Craigslist posts from their best of, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to help support my channel, please hit the subscribe and click on the bell so that you can receive more notifications. And I hope to see all of you in the next video.